A huge crowd of anti-U.S. protesters took to the streets in Karachi to denounce the killing of two motorcycle riders in the city of Lahore by a U.S. counselor official. Pakistani police have charged the diplomat with double murder. According to a provincial minister, the U.S. official believed the two intended to rob him. A pedestrian was also killed by a speeding car from the U.S. consulate. These demonstrators are protesting against the recent killings in Lahore by the U.S. diplomats and for the immediate release of Avia Siddiqui, who was sentenced to 86 years in prison by the U.S. judicial system. Anti-U.S. sentiment run high in Pakistan. American drone attacks are another source of growing anger at the U.S. and its policies. According to the Conflict Monitoring Center and Islamabad-based NGO, the CIA carried out an unprecedented 132 drone attacks killing 938 civilian alone during 2010. They invade our territories, they throw drone at, uh, bombs, they kill our citizens. So, they, and, and I see there will be an uprising in Pakistan after Tunis, Tunis example, after Misr, after Yemen. I think so. Now it is our turn. Now it's Pakistani's turn. And this incident of yesterday in Lahore will be a, a final blow. Pakistan media speculate that the consulate official charged with the murder of two Pakistani citizens is an agent of the notorious U.S. private security firm, Z Services, formerly known as Blackwater. Mohammad Aslam Tareen, Lahore capital city police officer, says the man who was shot dead had no previous criminal records, adding that none of them had robbed or fired at the diplomat. The U.S. Embassy in Islamabad confirmed that Davis was a counselor worker but said it was still trying to work out with the police what had happened. They should be brought to law, the law of the land, and that is what it should be. And uh, because a murder is a murder, it has no diplomatic immunity to, to my knowledge. My sister Afia committed no crime. She did not even kill anybody. Yet. And she did nothing in the U.S., yet she's languishing in a U.S. jail under which no, there was no law there. Washington is apparently wary of the rising anti-American sentiments in Pakistan given its strategic partnership with Islamabad. But analysts remain skeptical about the strength and future of U.S. ties with regional nations. After all, many Pakistanis say they view the United States with suspicion or outright enmity because of what they call Washington's interfering policies in Muslim world. Mohammad Turi, Press TV, Karachi.